welcome to MintMook 5. You know, I don't know that I can convey the experience of what it's like to stand. I love, love getting up in front of the MintMook crowd at the beginning every year to see. You have to admit that it isn't quite fair because you guys get to see me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so the experience being able to stand here and to see every one of you, I can only just imagine seeing every one of you with the signal banner behind your heads. Uh, but uh, it's just, it is, uh, it, is, it is so delightful and it's only more delightful every year uh, to see you guys, uh, to see those of you again who are coming back to meet so many of you uh, for the first time. Uh, and uh, you know, if, if, you are, if, if you are new, uh, you may, uh, you may see me react on seeing your name tag, uh, because although you may think, well, I don't know who you are, I have probably seen your name uh, either on the GoToWebinar attendance list or in various other. I still see most of the lists of, you know, the of students and donors and everybody that come in. So the names are all very familiar to me uh, as I come through, and so uh, just know that you are like a celebrity to me, and I'm very excited, finally, to uh, get to meet you and, and put a face to that. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, so just, sorry, I, well, I, I occasionally distract myself just sort of looking out, seeing a portion of the room I haven't seen before, and I'm like, oh, look, look who's over there. Anyway, uh, so awesome. Thank you guys for coming. So I'm not going to talk very long this morning. <laughs> Pauses for laughter. Uh, but, um, <laughs> no, this is just primarily organizational. So there, um, first, before I do anything else, uh, I would like to introduce the person who actually knows the answer to all the questions people have been asking me. Because um, uh, I should make as a disclaimer, uh, people, have, you know, uh, if you're asking me program, if you have program questions about what's going to happen and when. Don't ask me. <laughs> ask Trevor. Let me bring Trevor up. He's going to make some announcements. This is Trevor Briarly, the head of our events team, the chief organizer of this event, uh, and the, the, the person for, to whom primary credit is due for all of the awesomeness that is going to be happening over the course of this weekend. So, Trevor. I need to say it's not just me. I've had a lot of help, and I'm very appreciative of that. So if you've been one of those folks who helped me, thank you very much. Um, I have a couple of announcements, quick announcements. First, there's a, I wanted to let you guys know about the silent auction, if you haven't heard about it yet in all the posts that I've done. Um, we're going to be doing a silent auction. We have a, a lot of really cool items, including a high elven replica sword, like at the beginning of uh, Fellowship of the Ring. We have all the elves doing that. Um, Doing that wave thing. That's that's one of the, a replica of those will be uh, in the auction and a number of other kind of really cool items. So we'll, Friday, which is today actually, um, from one to six in the back, we'll have tables laid out and you can do your bids. And then also Saturday morning, eight thirty to twelve, we'll also have them out. And then masquerade ball here again, they'll be out and we'll announce the winners and you can. Um, we're taking cash and check, and you can pick up your your uh, winnings at that point. Um, we have a book sale this year, a real book sale. I'm really excited about that. That is going to be um, basically take a right out of the doors here, take a left on Delaware, and then another left on Illinois. So it's just right around the corner. And check it out. There's a lot of really cool stuff there. I've already spent more money than I should there. So. Do check it out, and um, and then the other thing I wanted to just bring up real briefly is we do have a slight change to the schedule, and I'll have a few more details tomorrow because I don't really have a um, title at the moment. But um, Tom Hillman will be presenting in break room two on Saturday morning. So um, tomorrow I'll have more details, including a title. Um, and actually now, uh, we're doing something a little bit different now. We're doing something called a room of requirement, which is kind of like a, an alternative con, where it's more of a place where you can kind of go and sit and hang out and um, you know, have a quiet conversation with somebody, um, that kind of thing. 
So I'd like to do is ask Monica and or Rachel to come up and give us a few words about the Roman requirement. Sir. Can we find out what the point of the Roman requirement back to the Okay. Morning, everybody. Morning. Coffee working yet? Woo. <laughs> Tell mine to hurry up. So, uh, me and Rachel, uh, we are tangent artists, and we are sponsoring this year's re requirement. Um, it's just a big old room, and we have an area where you can plug in your uh, laptop or charge your devices. We have an area that is uh, our Reference, but I should probably read the things she gave me. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> we have a reference library in the corner, uh, full of all the books that you wanted to bring with you, but you're only allowed so many bags on an airplane. <laughs> we have uh, board and card games that you can play inside the game. Uh, in the game room, we have tables set up where you can do that. Um, we have a table full of Tangent Artist merchandise <laughs> that you can peruse at your ledger. I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing a reading from one of those books this uh, morning. Check the schedule. Uh, we also have a schedule posted on the door if you're interested in any of the events. Um, we have a, um, oh, so and, uh, during the masquerade, we will also be um, doing introverted stuff in there for people who like, <laughs> I had my party, now I need a break where nobody talks for a while. So we'll be having that over there. We have a crafts and coloring and etc. misc table right in the middle. It's covered in brown paper and it is piled up with coloring sheets and markers and crafts to do and boxes to decorate and all sorts of fun things so you can take home a souvenir but you didn't have to spend any money on because we bought it for you. And a tube jar. <laughs> oh, and the other thing for the masquerade, come in and write it. If, you're, if your costume is missing that certain something, or if you want more pipe cleaners, more spangles, more anything, just come in and write it. If you didn't bring a costume, it would be really cool if we had like a prize for the person who made their costume at the last minute for all the stuff. <laughs> That'd be really awesome. Okay, so that is room requirement. Once again, check the hours on the door. Um, also, an announcement: we don't have. In, do we have any info on the game demo at all, or no? Uh, we're not gonna be able to. Okay, so that that one event is canceled. For a very good reason, the game demo. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good reason. Okay, so no game demo. That's the only thing on the schedule that's changed from room requirement. Otherwise, uh, hope to see you in there, and I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. Thank you. I was uh, I've been really excited about the room requirement this year. Uh, it's something that we've been uh, kind of building over the last few years and that I really love the opportunity for. Uh, so often at, uh, you know, really cool conferences like this, there are great papers and presentations to listen to, and you get some time to meet up with people in the hallways and things like that, but having a place where people can just like go and hang out and do fun stuff, uh, and, and I will say it's a very signum thing to have a, uh, a, a, an introvert's haven uh, <laughs> that, is, that is classic. Uh, I remember it was at Midmoon, uh, which we held up in Baltimore like two years ago. Kay, you were there, I remember. <laughs> and Jen was there, and Serena was there, and I was talking with a bunch of people, and that was the day I realized, I was like, wait a second, so actually, apart from me, Literally everyone at Sigmund University is an introvert. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, that's why I have such a hard time filling particular roles. <laughs> anyway, it's awesome. So, okay, so like, we get that. Uh, <laughs> you're safe here. Um, so anyway, it's great. Uh, the, the, the room requirement is going to be a lot of fun and uh, uh, looking forward to all those things. One last thing I wanted to explain. Um, uh, and that is uh, what uh, the man who is not behind the curtain, uh, but rather in front of it, is doing up here in the front corner. Uh, when you see Ed with his like five laptops and his tripods and everything and trying to figure out what's going, this is sanctioned. Uh, <laughs> um, so what we're doing is, it's been a goal of mine for a while to be able to uh, uh, stream, I mean, it won't shock you to hear that I would really like to be able to stream stuff online, or rather, that for years now, people have been like, why are you not streaming this food online? Like, come on, who are you? Uh, so, um, 
it's our goal, what we're working towards, we're hoping that next year we'll actually be able to do like a virtual registration. So for people who just can't travel, and as you guys know who are here, obviously it's not going to be the same experience, but at least for people who can't physically come, they could still uh, uh, watch and even uh, you know ask questions and participate uh, in sort of sigma fashion with the talks and things that are happening at the event. So we're piloting that this year. Uh, that is to say, we're guinea pigging everybody. So we're going to be streaming a lot of this stuff on the Sigma Twitch channel, um, and we're kind of so this year is going to be the year that we just kind of work out the kinks of how the broadcast works and figure out that make sure we get that done properly. So. Um, a lot of the talks are going to be uh, we're, we're, we're going to be broadcasting those, um, and so just so that you know what it is doing up here uh, and uh, what the what the cameras are for. Um, so it's going to be fun. We're we're going to be trying to do that in some of the other uh, in some of the other sessions as well. So I just wanted to explain that, and also for those of you who are sharing stuff in social media, you can direct people to it. twitchtv slash SigmaView is the name of our Twitch channel uh, where we're going to be broadcasting all things. So all they have to do is subscribe to our Twitch channel and they will get a handy email notification whenever the channel goes live <laughs> so they miss none of the awesome myth move things that we are able to stream. Okay. Any questions that I can answer? Any any, any things I can can you repeat the Twitch site? Twitch.tv which is just T W I T C H dot T V slash SIGNMU, S-I-G-N-U-M-U. S-I-G-N-U-M-U, which also happens to be my license plate. Uh, <laughs> uh, which is awesome, because I, I thought that was a great idea, and then I, I like, meet people and they're like, so what's SIGNUMU? <laughs> or like, Sign Umu. Like, is this the sign of the Umu? Yes, it's the sign of the Umu. That's exactly, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, so, yeah, so, so twitch.tv slash sign Umu is the address. 